Hello, welcome to Quantum Espresso tutorial series for beginners. This is lab 9. Today we are going to learn how to calculate energy band gap from SCF file directly without the band structure or density of states. Actually, we are going to calculate band gap as possible this step. And as we know that uh, band gap calculation through simple DFT is nothing but estimation of gap with error up to 10% from experimental value. Now we have two input files, carbon diamond structure and SI structure with uh, their pseudo potential. And here we use uh, ultra soft PB pseudo potential which is most reliable and efficient in a calculation. Now open diamond structure first. Here we are trying to calculate best estimate value with the optimized structure and relaxed parameter with optimized value of k points and e cuts. Here number of atoms is 2 and, and number of band is equal to 6. Uh, the band is uh, number of band is calculated by the number of atom multiplied by with uh, valence electrons for each atom then here 4 valence electrons so 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8 uh, so 8 valence, ele valence electron in this structure so half of the cohon cohon sum states so 4 cohon, uh, cohon sum states and uh, 2 conduction band so total bands is 6 here we wrote 6 and band is equal to 6. Here we take a occupation is equal to fixed for a semiconductor uh, and insulator material and sparing is Gaussian as it is. Now close this and open the silicon SCF file. Here same as the diamond structure silicon. This is a simple silicon SCF file but the number of atom is 8 here in this structure. Uh, if you want to know how to write this SCF file then you must watch our previous videos. Here number of bands is equal to 18 because 8 atoms and each atom has 4 valence electrons. So total 32 valence electrons are here. So 16 cone sum state means uh, 16 valence bands you can say that and plus 2 conduction bands so total number of bands is equal to 18 here and same as occupation is equal to fixed k points and uh, close this file now press sit and uh, right mouse button then open command windows here just compile this file by pw diamond dot in diamond dot out and just press enter it will take um, less than a minute to calculate now compile si dot in file and output is si dot out it will take one or two minutes to compile okay open silicon file and search for high then here is the line highest occupied and lowest unoccupied level so copy this value this is highest occupied value energy value copy here in a silicon then copy the lowest unoccupied level energy level okay the theoretical value is 1.21 and experimental value is 1.14 difference is uh, 0 0.074 and error, error is 6.56 which is very good diamond dot out file here again search high and copies highest occupied and lowest unoccupied level value to excel file Here is the theoretical value which is 4.94 
and experimental value is 5.5 so error is nearly to 10 percent which is also good if you want to calculate accurate bend gap then just go for hybrid functional with dft it is a very costly calculation and need too much computational resources and time which is which my computer doesn't afford this thank you for watching my videos